what's going on y'all uh this is gonna be part one of my trip to medellin colombia so first off we got to the airbnb uh the airbnb was super fat um as you can see like big living room big balcony uh everything was state of the art the kitchen was all decked out to be honest we spent a lot of time at the airbnb we probably spent 95 percent of the time that we were there on the balcony we got wi-fi fast wi-fi great view of medellin and uh you know you have that you really don't need to leave too much uh, but we did also do a lot of roaming around uh, as you can see nice bedrooms two bed it's a two bedroom spot um three of us were staying there for the most part kwame actually are he lives in Colombia, so he had his own spot but he was just spending so much time over there and he was kicking with us so hard that he ended up just sleeping on the couch most of the nights but the, as you can see the couch is big and comfortable um you know the bathroom is nice big bathrooms three two and a half bath two bedroom the master bedroom was huge that's where dudley was staying at i had the uh guest bedroom but the guest bedroom was fat too cost the price of uh, the, the cost of living man the fact that you can uh how many like for instance how many taxes we call today four we call probably like four taxes four taxes today i don't think we spend over so when we got into Medellin, um, we pretty much didn't really do much. Uh, Kwame had a lot of work to do. We kind of was just getting settled in. I got a, we all got a little workout in the first night, but the second day, uh, which is what we got here in the video, uh, we took a little trip uh, on the cable cars and we went up the mountain to the top of the mountain. Uh, that was a cool experience. The cable cars, uh, the metro system in Medellin is super cheap. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the price is, but I'll put that in the in the description of how much it costs for us to get from El Poblado all the way to the top of the uh, mountain. I'm pretty sure it wasn't more than like $2 per person. The metro system out there is literally like, I want to say like every time you get on, it's like 25 cents. It's super cheap. Um, but anyways, like I said, we was on the metro. We went on the cable cars. Um, when you get in the cable cars, uh, you get a great, great, great view of the city. Um, you're going up at high altitudes. Medellin is basically in a valley. So it's surrounded by mountains, surrounded by green. Like it's beautiful. So you got like all this greenery. Then you get to see the favelas. You get to see how people is living outside of the city. And before that, bef actually before they even put these cable cars in place, the people who lived in the favelas, the people who lived in these like mountainous areas, they really didn't even have access to getting into the city. So this whole, the whole thing with the cable cars is pretty much a game changer for them. But yeah, we went up to the mountains. Uh, they pretty much have like, a, they, I mean, there's a few different towns in different parts of Medellin uh, that the cable cars go to. This is just one in particular. Not exactly sure of the name offhand, but I'll put that in the description. Um, but when you get to the top of the mountain that we were at, um, it was like another little small town. They had uh, different booths as soon as we got off the, tr the cable cars, different places where you can get snacks, different places where you can buy clothes, jewelry, uh, that, that sort of thing. Um, you know, it was fun. Uh, Dudley it speaks a little bit of Spanish, so he was up there practicing his Spanish, you know. Uh, Kwame was uh, showing us around, giving me a tour. His Spanish is pretty good as well, and mine is absolutely zero. So, you know, that was a struggle for me on the trip. But, you know, it's cool, man. The people there was hella hospitable. They were hella nice. Of course, we was, you know, we in a, it was like we're tourists, so, you know, they was trying to sell us stuff. But, you know, we tried the local food, tried some empanadas. Uh, we had gotten some dulce con leche, which was super good, like a uh, little kind of tastes like caramel type thing the Kwame bought a hat up there you know I bought a little fresh smoothie so you know we did a lot of walking around it's actually a little hike that you can go to uh, when you get here too so when we got up we got up there 
We went on a pretty, not a super deep hike, but it was a little hike. We just took a hike through the town. It was a little up and down hills, but it was cool. And um, yeah, so that was pretty much what we did when we got up to the top of the mountain. And then when it was time to go, we jumped back on the cable cars. But like I said, the, the cable cars have some super, super dope views. So, you know, when you get on there, you literally are seeing like a panoramic view of the city. And what I mean the city is just like inside of that valley, you really get to see how big Medellin is. It's a huge city. Um, when you get into like the favelas area, you see all types of artwork, uh, graffiti. Uh, it's really beautiful. And um, once you get off of the the uh, cable cars, when you get into the little favela area or the little mountain, you know, town, whatever you want to call it, um, there was a cool little restaurant. Actually, there's a couple little restaurants that you can go to, but one of them, one of them has a super clean view. Uh, you can check out the, you know, you see the little cable cars coming up and down. It also has a good view of the city, so you can go there and go get your, uh, I believe the soup is called Mondongo, so you can get a Mondongo soup, chill out. They didn't have any actually the day that we went, so we just, I think Kwame had ordered a plate of some type of food. I think uh, Dudley had, Dudley and Kwame wanted to get some shrimp or something like that, so we ended up getting that. A couple beers, chilled out. You know, enjoyed the scenery. Then after we uh, finished at the restaurant, we ended up uh, taking a little walk through the uh, little neighborhood. So we walked around the neighborhood. I got a little bit of footage, just checked out, you know, some of the street vendors, some of the people selling food. Um, just checked out how some of the, the people is living that's not living in the city, basically. And you saw people, uh, kids out there playing, hella people riding around on motorbikes. Uh, the bus system it's like a whole nother it's like a whole nother world once you get up into those those areas because you know these people don't really have direct access to the city but as for our first full day in Medellin I really can't complain man that was like a cool way to spend the first day um, definitely liked going up to the uh, favelas definitely like going up to the uh, areas up there uh, the people was hella nice great views of the city the people were really nice it was just a cool experience, especially like my first day in Medellin.